All right, guys, so your teachers assigned you some digital interactive notebook pages to do, and they've given you a link, and this is what it's going to look like. So when you open up that link, um, we're going to pretend today that we're looking at the safety and the scientific method interactive notebook. All you have to do is click make a copy. What that's going to do is that's going to copy this notebook to your Google Drive. And then the first thing you can do up here is you can change the title if you'd like. So you can change it to your name, your interactive notebook, or uh, whatever your teacher has told you to do. Go ahead and follow those directions. So go ahead and you can just click in that box. You can change it to whatever you need. I'm just going to take off copy of it at the top. You can also move that. You can click on that little folder right there, and you can move that to whatever folder in your, in your Google Drive that you're supposed to put that in. All right, so as you glance through these pages, you have a table of contents and you have a whole bunch of interactive notebook pages. Let's just show you how they work real quickly. So um, I'm going to show you three different types of how um, you complete and what you'd have to do. So the first thing here, this one's about safety equipment. And all the directions want you to do, every page has directions. All they want you to do is um, define what these pieces of safety equipment are. So for each one of these, like goggles right here, um, you can click where it says type here, and you can type your answer um, and it will automatically save that for you for defining the pieces of equipment. Um, your teacher may have extra directions for you. They may, wanna, they may want you to define the equipment and give a use for it, like why would you need it? Okay, so go ahead and pay attention to whatever your teacher tells you to do. So this one's pretty simple. It's just kind of typing directly on the page. That works the same way. Okay, then we have ones like this where um, this is the lab procedures pedal activity. Read each scenario, write which, what should have been done instead under each one. So they give you a scenario on here, and there's six of them. You're going to read the scenario, and then underneath each scenario, so that one's scenario four, I would type my answer. For this one, scenario five, click here, I would type my answer. And then you can go through all six of those and make sure that you've um, answered them completely. You can resize your text if that's not enough space. Okay, you can click in there and you can resize your text up here. We're typing in 14. I can make it smaller. I can change the font. I can change the color. All right, so maybe you want to type in blue or green um, so that your answers stand out so that you can see those a little bit easier. That's, that's an option. You can do that too. Okay, then we have ones like this where you're going to take um, the directions and the examples down here and you're going to sort them. It's basically a sorting activity. So it says read each scenario and drag the scenarios into the correct beaker, safe or unsafe. So you have a bunch of scenarios down here. You have to read them and then you have to put them in the beaker they belong to. So on this one right here, all I've done I just clicked on it and dragged it. It says, Aaron reported a spill and broken glass to the teacher. So if you report a spill and broken glass, that's the right thing to do. So that's safe. So I would just click that and I'd say, okay, Aaron was being safe. She's doing the right thing. Okay, and I would just read all the rest of them, put them where they belong, and then you have everything sorted properly. Another cool thing that you can do if you wanted to, it, it like these pages are kind of like your notes, even though there's a little activity to do. Um, you could insert a text box at the bottom and you could type a few notes if you wanted to. You can insert images if you wanted to put a little picture here or there to remind you of something. Um, like on this safety t-shirt, it says insert text images and whatever else you want to put here. So um, there's a whole bunch of options. You know, I'm not artistic. I can't draw, but this would be something easier for me to do if on a safety t-shirt I could go find some pictures of things on the internet and I could paste those on there and I could type some words and design the safety t-shirt um, according to my teacher's directions. Pretty simple. Okay, so you just go through all of those and um, make sure you complete them the way that your, that your teacher wants you to and it's going to save them for you as your digital notebook. So as the year goes on, you can just keep adding more and more pages to this, and um, it's, going to, it's going to keep all that for you. It's pretty cool. All right, if you have any questions, be sure to ask your teacher exactly how they want you to do that.